Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're getting to that part of the year where everyone's like starting to clean and redo stuff. And as a lot of us are home at the moment and staying healthy and safe, I thought why not do a full project of cleaning my wardrobe because I I've hoarded quite a lot of clothes over the years and I think it's time for it to all now go. And so why not just do it now? But I'm definitely getting older, the fact that I'm actually enjoying cleaning out my wardrobe, but that's fine. So let's go over to my wardrobe and have a look at what it's currently looking like. So these are my main wardrobe. I also have another wardrobe and a chest of drawers and storage under my bed and some boxes. So I have a lot of storage that has a lot of stuff in it that I just need to go. If I am going to be moving out in September, I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So let's have a look and see how much it is. Uh, a lot of down here has just been piled up where I haven't had enough room to put new clothes in. So you can kind of see that on there. So I guess the aim of the game is just to go through everything and kind of get rid of anything that I don't want. I'm going to try and talk through a few pieces of that I'm getting rid of. But I think I'm just going to do a time lapse over the whole thing because it's going to take a while. Um, I'm going to create two, par two or three piles. A donate pile, a sale pile and a give to friends and family pile. Um, but anyway, let's get on with this wardrobe. I've had this skirt for like eight years. And the only reason I kept it is because it's the skirt that I wore when I met Ariana Grande. But I think it's now time to say goodbye. So, cheerio. Although I am very blessed to have a lot of wardrobe space, I now realise that in order to keep buying clothes, I have to get rid of some. And after watching the series on Netflix, which is The Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, she kind of talks about how you got to let go of things that you've been holding on to for a while. And once you are able to let go of those things, then you're able to create new connections with new things. I've had the jumper for like probably over 10 years now and I've been holding on to it. I don't know why. I think I just love it and I think that I'll wear it but I haven't so it's time to say goodbye to my beloved jumper. The technique she uses in her program says that you're meant to dump every item of clothing on the floor and then go through it. But I knew that would take me a lot longer, so I decided to go through each drawer and take everything out, go through it, and then put back what I wanted. And kept out what I wanted to either give away, donate. She also says in the program, when going through clothes, try to keep clothes that either are meaningful to you or that spark joy and happiness and you have a connection with that piece of clothing. If you don't have anything towards that piece of clothing, then it shouldn't be there. So this is what I have so far, just out of that closet. And it's quite a lot actually, I'm just going to sort through it and organise it into piles of donate, give to friends or sell. So let's get on with that. So here are the finished piles of the clothes. And there's quite a lot and there's still a lot more to go. So let's carry on. So this is what my 
what did it looks like after I've tidied it. I mean, that's actually much more organised and everything has its own kind of section. And this, although it looks like it's the same, I've got rid of a lot of stuff. And most of it is my jacket. And then on the right are dresses and blouses. So, yeah, even though it's still quite filled up, there's still a lot of space, more than what there was before. And then this is what this section looks like. I think I need to go through my oversized t-shirts again because I have quite a lot and I I don't want to get rid of any but I might have to. My t-shirts have gone down a lot. I cannot open and close the door very easily. I don't know what to do with this because I love all this door. I don't want really you want to get rid of anything, but I might go, go through it again and just see what I can use. I still have to go through these top three drawers, which, so the top one is the bags and hats. The one below is like my moving drawer, so when I move out I've got decorations in there for my new room. And then the third one is just like, bits and bobs that I have that I could get rid of so now we gotta go through those and we gotta go through my top drawer of this one because it's just filled up with absolute junk don't look at my accounts but junk junk <laughs> so let's do this So here's my finished jewelry organisation. Another tip that she used is to open your jewelry boxes and use them as little storage containers, which I think is really useful. Lastly, I went through all my little bits and bobs, like accessories, handbags, shoes, and other bits and bobs. I don't know why I have this much stuff, because I don't even use it, which is why a lot of it has to go. Especially if I'm moving, I don't want to be carrying around a lot of this stuff. So, if I ever, it all just goes down. So I have this kind of vanity makeup mirror which I used to use to do my makeup with but now I kind of just do my, my makeup in my bathroom but I still have some old makeup items that I store in here and that need to either be binned or just cleaned or used again so this is a good opportunity to go through all of that as well. And that's it from today's video. I forgot to film that outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed and are feeling as motivated as I am. This is no better time than other to kind of declutter and clean. I hope you guys are staying indoors, staying safe and healthy and helping the NHS. They need all the help that they can get. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to keep on smiling.